sometimes change is inevitable and sometimes it's just best to roll with it. Hello and welcome back to Tarot Tuesday. I'm Amy the Medium and today we are looking at the tower. Now this card is one that a lot of people fear in the tarot when they see it. And it's not just because it's a terrifying looking card. The meaning itself can be quite terrifying if you're not ready for it and if you don't fully understand the nuance and the meaning of it. So I'm going to take a little bit of time today to really break this down because we've got a lot of symbolism and there's a lot of different ways that this card can manifest or mean change in your life. And so let's start there first and foremost. This card means change and it means drastic and dramatic change. When we take a closer look at the symbols on the card, it helps to understand why the change has to be so drastic and so dramatic. And so when you see it in a reading, it becomes easier to understand why this card appears when it does. So let's start with the symbols and the artwork on the card and really break it down. First, let's just look at the card overall. You see a large tower atop a mountain. The tower itself is on fire, having been struck by lightning. You'll see a crown that was once at the top of the tower starting to fly off. Likewise, there are two people falling through the air, seemingly having jumped out of the tower. The clouds that you see on the card are representative of smoke coming out of that fire. And you'll see that the sky is very dark. So visually, yes, this card is disturbing. But now let's break it down into each piece and part to understand what this card is trying to tell us. Let's start with the mountain itself. If you look at the tower atop this mountain, there's not a whole lot of land on which this tower has been built. So the foundation of this tower is quite precarious. Towers themselves typically represent strong, solid structures. They're not meant to fall. And so to see what looks like a strong, solid structure on such a narrow foundation lets us know that this tower is built on kind of shaky ground. While built to last, it wasn't built with a foundation that was meant to last. Next is the tower itself. If you look at the top of the tower, you'll see a lightning bolt has struck the very top and what looks like a crown that would have been atop the tower is flying off. Crowns in the tarot typically represent our successes and our achievements. So if you consider the tower being a strong structure meant to last to celebrate achievements, then what you really see here is this lightning coming in and striking that down. The lightning itself also represents things we can't control. Nature is gonna do what nature is gonna do. And so despite our best efforts of building a very strong structurally sound tower, an act of nature can take it down in an instant. Likewise, you see two people who seem to be falling. Maybe they've jumped from the tower itself. If you look at the faces of the two people who have jumped from the tower, you'll see very interesting expressions. If you look at the person who is wearing the crown, you'll see that they have a look of almost peace on their face. Yes, they have a frown, but they are also have a look of almost inevitability. Like I'm floating through the air and this is what's happening and I made peace with it. The other person who is falling from the tower looks to have a little bit more fear on their face they're also looking towards the ground to see where they're gonna land, if they're going to land. And they're reaching out almost as if they're hoping someone will catch them or hoping that someone will help break the fall. So on one hand, you have this peaceful inevitability. On the other hand, you have somebody who's fearful and looking for help. Both of these incredibly valid reactions to the situation that is happening in the card. We can assume in looking at this card that this tower is not going to survive. It will crumble, it will fall. Now, because we've broken down all of these symbols, Let's take those symbols into the reality of whatever the situation is that you are reading for. If this card shows up in a reading, it means that there is change that is happening that needs to happen and it will be drastic and dramatic and seemingly out of that person's control. But why is it happening? It goes back to where the tower is built on that mountaintop. It is not a solid foundation. So what it shows is the person you're reading for, maybe they have an endeavor that they've been working on and they feel like it is solid, but in actuality, they haven't built it in solid footing. There's no solid foundation in that endeavor. And so it needs to fall apart so that it can be rebuilt better. You can build it with a better foundation in a new spot, in a new place. What this car does is points out when you've been ignoring things 
that maybe are putting you at risk. Whoever built this tower ignored the fact that there was risk in building it on such a small footprint. They hoped for the best and they hoped that nothing would go wrong. But of course we can't control nature and things did go wrong. So again, it's about change that needs to happen because maybe we're trying to force things to happen a certain way or we're just crossing our fingers that things are gonna work out the way that we want them to. But nature, spirit, our higher selves, whatever you wanna call it, has something different in mind. And so they need to push us into change so that we can find ourselves on more solid footing, that we can make better choices and do better for ourselves. So this card really does represent that sudden push into change. It doesn't necessarily mean everything's gonna fall apart, your house is gonna burn down, you're gonna have to jump out of a burning tower. That's not what this necessarily means. Change can be good, change can be bad, change can be neutral. Change is just that, and this card really means change is inevitable. So it depends on the other cards in the reading to understand what needs to change. Let's say you're getting a whole lot of cups in your reading and this person has interest in a relationship that they feel like they wanna move on to the next step and then this card shows up. Well, that could mean that the foundation of the relationship that they've built on isn't very solid and this next step they wanna take wouldn't be the right step to take because they don't have a solid understanding of themselves and the other person in the relationship. So this card may be saying, hey, you just need to go back and rebuild your relationship from the ground up, build a stronger foundation, so that next step that you want for yourself will be a successful next step and not built on eggshells or toothpicks necessarily. So that's just one example of how this card could represent change. Being part of the major arcana, this also means that when this card shows up in a reading, it's going to hold more weight than the cards around it because it is one of the major arcana. The minor arcana that are around it will support it and like mentioned, will give you some sense of what this card is trying to communicate, what type of change it's trying to communicate. Now reversed, if you read reversals, this card doesn't mean that change isn't happening. What it means is that you are resistant to the change. You may actually be able to see that it's coming in the case of this card because it is lightning that's striking the tower down. If it's reversed, it may mean that you can see that thunderstorm off in the distance. You can see the lightning storm happening, but you're doing everything you can to try to keep that away, to try to make that storm go in a different direction. It doesn't mean that the change isn't coming. It just means that you are resistant to it coming and you're trying to do what you can to sort of put barriers in the way of that inevitable change. Upright is more like you don't even see the storm coming, but that storm is coming to get you no matter what. So that's a subtle nuance between upright and reversed. Either way, whichever way you read this card, just know that it doesn't have to mean anything bad. It can mean good change as well. It just means that it's sudden and necessary. And because it does look so violent, it doesn't mean that the change is violent again, but it means that it is massive and it is noticeable, and there is foundational changes that will be happening. So in the example I gave you about a relationship, that doesn't mean that your relationship has to fall apart. It means building a stronger foundation to build a stronger relationship in the future. That's really positive change to have, especially if that's a relationship that you wanna keep. So this card means drastic change, a huge change that has to happen, both internally and externally as well. You need to change your own thoughts, your own behaviors, your own perspectives around things, but also externally, if you've built a business or you're trying to straighten out your finances, it's about looking at the foundation of those things again, reworking things. It's not always bad. It's a scary looking card and when you see it, you often think that it's bad, but much like the death card, it doesn't have to mean terrible things happening. It can definitely mean good things happening. You just have to be willing to make that change, willing to go through what you need to in order to see the blue sky on another day. So that is this week's Tarot Tuesday. I hope you have enjoyed it. Take care and we will see you next week.